Get ready for Just In Case You Missed It, Entertainment News. Just In Case You Missed It, the 51st Annual NAACP Image Awards broadcasted live on Saturday, February 22nd at the Pasadena Civic Auditorium. And it was black excellence in its full finest. Okay, let me give you the deets. So the red carpet was hosted by Terrence J and actress and comedian um, Erica Ash. This was the first time that the award show was broadcasted on BET was fantastic. And in addition to being broadcasted on BET, it was broadcasted simultaneously on eight other networks. So Anthony Anderson hosted for the seventh year. I find that very interesting. Nobody wants the job. Watch out brother. Cause soon I'll be coming to grab the mic and to host these events. Watch out for me, y'all. I'm calling it up. It is coming for sugar. Okay, let's talk about my favorite moments from the night. Angela Bassett and Lizzo meeting each other for the very first time on the red carpet. It was so wonderful to see the two of them genuinely excited to see each other. I mean, they both were gasping and they were talking about how much they love each other, which was amazing. And you know what that means? That means that they both understood that they were in the presence of two true queens because true game recognizes game and I was there for all of that. Other moments that I enjoy, Jamie Foxx acceptance speech when he received for um, outstanding supporting actor in the film Just Mercy. Very, very, very comical. Please go on YouTube and take a look. See, you're going to love the chuckles, I guarantee. Oh, the in memoriam um, section was nice and it had a lovely tribute to Kobe Bryant, who we are all still struggling to get over. Rest in peace, brother. Everyone's facial reaction when Rihanna took the stage to accept her presidential award. She was in this beautiful purple dress and everyone truly gasped. Take a look. Please welcome the recipient of this year's President's Award, Rihanna. <laughs> Your outfit did that when they give you the clap and the head nod then you know you are on the right track another moment that I enjoy was hers performance she did a melody of a few of her hits and she brought on the stage skip Molly so that they can do their newest song slow down and it was beautiful now if you don't know skip Marley you need to get up on it because you are falling behind skip Marley yes per the last name is the grandson of Bob Marley okay and they also did their own rendition of turn the lights down low come on giving tribute to grandpa it was truly sensational it really set the vibe and this added this beautiful tone to the evening everyone was standing up and swaying and singing along that's how you know you created a magical moment fashion looks that I enjoyed for the night Angela Bassett wearing emerald green and looking like the true empress that she is ah she was emerald out from head to toe and I have to give it to Angela Bassett's team her lace fronts wig are always on point so well, I mean she's a queen so of course she would make sure she's together other looks that I enjoy Janelle Monet stunning Marseille Martin giving me 1920 20s art inspired beauty. This 15 year old is on her way and is killing the game. Thoroughly support Tracy Ellis Ross. Yes, wearing what she called her dream dress from designer Christopher John Rogers. She says she saw this dress at a show and she just was dying for it and he sent it to her and she felt like such a dream wearing it. Michael B. Jordan was wearing a beautiful black tuxedo. Now, the tuxedo was sparkling, kind of how sequence will sparkle, but it's not sequence. And I tried to look online to find out what the material was exactly so I could describe it to you guys better, but I couldn't find it. So all you designers out there that are watching, if you could let me know what type of tuxedo is this and what is this material that sparkles because it's not 
It's not sequins, but it's some sort of sparkly. Either way, he looked like a full star and was just looking very yummy in his outfit. Winston Duke, who looked truly regal. I so much enjoy that actor. Looking at him is stunning, but I love how he carries himself. A true king. Overall, the show was truly incredible. I was very happy that I had the opportunity to watch it. It was truly inspiring and uplifting. And as always, I love to see my black people just looking absolutely fierce, fine, and fire. In other entertainment news, Will Smith announced via his Instagram page the upcoming film coming out of his and Jada's production company, Overbrook Entertainment. The film called Charm City Kings and the trailer looks truly fire. The cast will include Jahai Winston and Meek Mills. Now the film is set to drop on April 10th in New York, LA and Baltimore, Baltimore because that's where the film was shot and everywhere else on April 17th. Check it out. It looks like a fire film. I'm sure you don't want to miss it. And that's just in case you missed it. Entertainment news and that's all sugar has to say about that.